It has been 10 days since someone tried to take the life of our beloved president at the Pennsylvania rally. 10 days full of theories and speculations and just a lot of unanswered questions about what is going on with this entire thing. But today, Trump has spilled the tea, all right? He has spilled the tea on what Biden said to him after the attempt on his life when Biden gave him the phone call. Do you remember that when Biden shuffled out there after the attempt on, on Trump's life where he literally was like a quarter inch away from death and Biden shuffled out there and he's like, yeah, I plan on talking to, to Donald on the phone in, in a little bit. I don't, I don't know what, what's going on, but this is what my, my, my aides told me to say. So, so yeah, so this whole thing is absolutely wild. And of course we have Trump giving more details about what is going on here. So let's go ahead and check this out. You spoke to Cheadle. How'd that go? She came to see me actually. And oh, uh, I mean, it went, very nicely. She was very nice, I thought. But, you know, somebody should have made sure there was nobody on that roof. That roof was a dead aim right onto the stage. And they said they didn't have the manpower for it, which is crazy. 130 yards is like sinking a one foot putt. It's considered really close. Absolutely right. It sounds like a lot, but it's really from that standpoint, it's a very, you know, it's very close. The fact that people aren't taking this as seriously as they should is just absolutely just wild to me. You know, you have to answer why couldn't I have stayed off the stage for five minutes while they do their work? Why couldn't, uh, you know, how does a situation happen where a roof that's plainly in sight from the location where I was speaking? We have uh, Director Cheadle today who has resigned after everything that happened there, which she absolutely should. Exclusive, I spoke to Trump on the resignation of Secret Service Director Cheadle. He tells me she never gave me proper protection, so I ended up having to take a bullet for democracy. Trump tells me that many requests were made by on-site Secret Service for more people, always with a churndown or no response. But let's get into what Biden said to Trump because this is absolutely wild stuff. Joe Biden called you. After yes, this guy tried to take your life, how'd that conversation go? It was good. It was a nice conversation. He uh, he said, uh, "You're lucky you turned to the right." So I was in. It was you know obviously somebody briefed him, uh, but he did say that to me. He said, "You're lucky you turned to the right." I said, "I think so." So uh, yeah, Biden basically said, "You're lucky. You're lucky you got away this time." <laughs> If the takeaway that, that Trump took away from his phone call with Biden was that Biden said, you're lucky, you're lucky you turned to the right instead of like, oh, I'm glad you're okay. You know, things that normal people would say if something like this happened. I don't know, man. It's weird. Do you guys remember when they were talking about like uh, there was a reporter that asked Biden if he was helping get Trump convicted a couple of months ago, back when all of the legal stuff was going on, and uh, Biden literally like turned to the camera and and smiled. You know, he gave like his creepy like half smile. He kind of went like this. He was like. And then he just walked away like, bro, like that is that is wild, wild stuff. And uh all of that combined, you know, it makes me wonder if there's other things going on. This whole thing is just absolutely suspicious. Like, you know, that whole thing that happened at the, at the Pennsylvania rally, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. These are just obviously just theories and speculation, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was kind of the final Hail Mary, you know, to, to try to turn things around this election and then uh, for, well, for the Democrats. And then when that failed, you know, he was, he was lucky, he turned to the right. Then uh, they realized, you know what, it's time to bring in Kamala Harris. So this whole thing is absolutely wild. Let me know what you think about all this insanity. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.